Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for Nintendo Switch. On today's episode we are going to do the 150cc Final Cup, it's the Bell Cup, yes. Now what other character are we going to use other than Cat Peach? Uh, no one, because Cat Peach is going to be perfect for it. So if you guys are excited for 150cc Bell Cup, triple star rating, and of course, providing tips and tricks along the way, definitely smash that like button. We are doing a giveaway, so make sure that you guys take a look at all that fun stuff. So, uh, we're here, 150cc, uh, we already have the cup, I did that off screen, uh, in front of some friends, we were just playing it, and I got it, but nonetheless, we're gonna give it to you guys. So Cat Peach, doing it, we got a new cart combo, it's the ship, I'm never going to use the land ship. No, we don't need that nonsense. We're gonna do the cat car, and in order to patch the bad cat car and Cat Peach stats, we're gonna give her some more speed, by putting on the slick wheels. And of course, we're gonna go with the Waddle Wing, yeah, Waddle Wing's gonna be great! So here we go, we are gonna jump into the Grand Prix, <clears throat> starting off with Neo Bowser City. Now, if you guys have been following me since Mario Kart 7 days way back, what is that, four or five years ago? I don't even know. If you guys have been following me since then, congratulations, you guys rock. But if you guys haven't, Mario Kart 7 was my determining factor of starting YouTube. And I loved it. So Mario Kart 7, all the tracks from Mario Kart 7 are really, really dear to me. So let's jump in. I love the design of Neo Bowser City. It's very cool because there is it's all futuristic and it just looks cool. I don't even know what's going on. Kind of reminds me of Blade Runner. You guys ever seen Blade Runner? There we go. So we've got eight coins right off the bat. We're gonna try to just break away from the pack. Okay, so we we have all of our coins right now. Not worried. And on this turn right over here, you can indeed get that big ultra. So just hold it, stretch it out if you have to, like that, and then just hop and get it going. So big ultra is good. If you have a shroom, you can take this little cut right over here to the left. And uh, we're gonna do double ultra right over here. Of course, we're gonna lose our coins, not a big deal. Move it. So we have a sizable lead. You can see that uh, Pink Gold Peach is running in second place right now uh, with Bowser, Dry Bowser right next to it. All right, we're gonna take this a little bit tighter. And taking this a little bit tighter than before. Taking this even tighter. That was actually kind of wide. Here we go. All right, it's on. It's on like, oh my gosh, that's a mushroom! Hold the brakes! Oh! <laughs> a stray mushroom just came and destroyed me, wow. You know, I could have done that. I let go of the brakes a little bit early, but that was kind of fun. So, you gotta be very careful in that one turn. You never know. You never know what's gonna happen. Is there gonna be a shroom in the way? Learn to press the brakes. And trust me, using the brakes while you're in a power slide is okay. It's okay to do that. It's absolutely okay to do it. You're not going to lose out on your uh, mini turbo all, all together. Alright, so now, not only is it rainy out, and I'm not really sure the off-road stats of this cart combo, but I got that squid on me, man. Get that squid out of here. You a squid or a kid? Here we go. Super tight. Boom. Get that big ultra. Turning over here. Look at this lead. Do you guys see this lead right now? Tell me you do. Alright, we're done. Big ultra. We're going to drop all three of these. We're going to take our coins and we're going to be done. Boom. That's it. That's at least a 10 second lead. At least. So pretty decent cart combo. We kind of patched it up because the just the overall stats really aren't what I like to play like. I don't really like going low low top speed, high acceleration. That's not really my play style. I like going the exact opposite because if you're pro, you're gonna try to avoid all those shots, all the red shells, all the green shells. You're gonna try to avoid that. And you're gonna go max risk, max reward. So we're going, we got this. Come on, Cat Peach. Now, Ribbon Road, this is a very cool looking track. It's a very beautiful track because there's so many different little, little intricacies in the level. If you have a moment, just take in, bask in the glory that is the, the details of this level. You can see everything. There's logos, there's different characters from different games. You can see a Yarn Yoshi. You can see all the little toads from Mario vs. Donkey Kong. All right, right over here is a shortcut that you can easily take and trick off of. If you're good, you can do this double. Uh, I wasn't perfectly lined up for it, but you can do a double shortcut right over there. 
I'll try to hit it on the second lap for you guys. If you have any shrooms, I would definitely suggest heading right over here to the right and uh, ditching through this carpeted or yarned area, off-road area, and busting through there. Now, it's pretty good if you're able to hold this power slide all the way through. You can get the ultra on this turn. Of course, we were getting uh, rocked by that squid there. There's a Mecha Koopa. We'll watch out for him. Take this. Can we get an ultra here? Yeah, you can! Straight! That's awesome! All right. Here we go. We're going to take this a little bit wide. Oh, man. Ooh, almost too wide. Oh, dude, see? And that's the risk you take. When you take those shortcuts, you can totally get target shock. So I don't recommend doing the shortcuts all the time. Because we totally got target shot there. Man. And we were going to do all three. All, what? What? What just happened? What'd you take? You didn't take anything. Maybe. Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty decent. Just knowing that you can do you can do an ultra right over here. Watch one here. Whoop. One ultra there. And if you can land this one right into a power slide. Or at least start this one. You can probably get an ultra there. Yeah, yeah. Totally got it. Watch. Boom. Right at the end, Ultra, baby. Like we're playing Killer Instinct. Here we go. Whose banana was that mine? All right, let's see if we can do this one. Come on. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> so close. So close. And we'll just... Oh, who are you? Excuse me. You are not going to beat me, lady. I will outline you. And draft boost! Oh my gosh, draft boost for the win! Yes, in your face! Was that regular Peach or pink gold Peach? Yeah, it was, okay. I'm glad that we beat her. Imagine if that blue shell came any sooner, that would have been terrible. So, long story short, if you're skilled enough to get that first, like, wider turn and then onto that little ramp, and then trick off it to another wider turn into that second ramp, that's the fastest way to go in the level. But, beware of target shots. It could happen. So here we have it, Super Bell Highway. Love this level. Again, just basking in the greatness of the detail of everything on the walls. You can take a look at the, the station. All the details in this, spectacular. Anyway, let's move on. Now, there's really only one shortcut you want to take in this level, and it is a grass cut, so you are going to need a shroom for it. Oh, what do you know? Shroom in first place. I'm actually going to save it? <laughs> How do you get a shroom in first place, right? Whoa, okay, that was actually not what I was going to do. Okay, so I power slid the wrong way. And I'm getting bullied here. Alright, don't worry. I'm not going to use this item. Okay, so he just got rocked by that. Thing. With this level, all you really need to do is focus on the inner... Uh, the inner, like, kind of laps. Like, the inner turns. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take this like a champ. I don't care. We're going to take it. I have zero coins to my name. I'm going to hold this for a blue shot. I don't even care. Oh, look at you trying to do that. Go, hit her with it. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? The moment I get in front. And now I'm going to eat it. Watch. It's okay. I ate a banana. This is really not good. I'm waiting for the blue shell that's not going to come. Whatever happened to ask and you shall receive. Didn't that happen a couple times? All right, here goes... What is this? Larry? What's your name? Not more. Roy. Roy's our boy. That's right. All right. Wow. Totally can't go that way. So I'm going to take this top way over the train. Yep. So you got to adjust it on the fly. Four coins. Five. Six. I'm just waiting for this blue, man. It's not going to happen. I'm just going to take all these hits like a champ. Give me that ultra. Out of here. Oh, you got one too. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay, well, at least I snuck the, uh... Oh, and here it comes! And here it comes! They stole it from me, and... Asking you shall receive, right? Okay, fine, well. That's fine. As long as I'm taking this lower path, I'm good to go. You know why? Because it's the fastest path. It's unbelievable, man. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you order a blue shell? Oh, okay, here we go. Sorry, it was a little late. Oh, oh, coins. Dang it. I should have pressed the coins. I would have had two more. Look. That's two more coins to my total coin count. Whatever. So, in that level, uh, in review, don't take the high routes. Don't do any of that nonsense. Just just take this nice curves along the paths. And if you have a shroom, save it for a blue shell. Save it for a blue shell. 
I just wanted the Dodge. I want that big BSD blue shell Dodge. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is Big Blue. Uh, straight out of F-Zero. We got some futuristic. Uh, we got some greens. You got some pretty cool shortcuts to do. I'll show you guys a couple different off-road cuts that you can take without a shroom. Uh, because you don't necessarily need them. So here we go. Let's see what we can do. Now, just like in Mute City, this level does not really have any coins that you can collect off-road. Oh, yes. <laughs> Asking you shall receive, huh? Alright. So, I'm gonna go this way, because it's a little bit faster. Over here, uh, there is a cut that you can take. I'm not gonna take it, because I'm gonna save this. You can go right in into this uh, dirt right over there that I kinda did. And if you take this a little bit tighter, You'll be better off than taking the green route. Here's where I'm going to pick up the rest of my coins. Uh, you can indeed kind of like cut through here a little bit. It's a, it's a little something. It'll help out. Right over here is the better cut. Though. This is the one right here. Yeah, flying. Woo! <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's I think one more that you can take. Oh, it's towards the end. I don't know if I... Mm, maybe I should take it? These are like my time trial cuts that I always use. Maybe, maybe. Let's see. So let's see how well we're doing. Yeah, we're actually doing very well. If I can get this, yeah, there we go. We're just taking all these boosts. And no, we missed that last one. It was on the red panel. Oh, here we go. Asking you shall receive. Oh, oh, dude, really? Are you kidding? What? Where'd my mushroom go for starters? Where'd my mushroom go for starters if I didn't blue shell dodge that? But whatever. Okay, so you do this boost panel. You come over here, you get one, two, and you kind of glide over there. Boom, like that. That's kind of like the last shortcut. I wanted it on the last episode. I waited a little, I missed it by a millisecond. Not a big deal. And we're done. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially done 100% with all of 150cc. That's 12 episodes of yours truly providing awesome tips and tricks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So, cue the... What is that, like the replay, where you're gonna give me some stuff, cue the trophy, and then cue the end credits, and let's talk about Mario Kart. Let's do it. That was fun. Very fun. Uh, what do I say about that run? It was pretty decent. I missed the blue shell dodge, go figure. I was just so anticipating it. <laughs> but it was still very good. And this was pretty clutch, too. And I got that nice draft boost. Pink Gold Peach, eating that red shell, and we made it. Fun. High five and all of you guys for watching the entire episodes. Good job. Here we go, give us our triple star rating. Boom, Shaka, Laka, Pink Gold Peach, nice try. But uh, you got no comparison. No way. So, cue the end credits. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. If you have seen the entire Let's Play of all 12 episodes so far. Let me know in the comments. I want all of you guys to watch all 24 episodes, and of course, all 36 episodes. On episode 36, that's gonna be epic. We're gonna straight up do it. It's gonna be so good. <coughs> Forgive me. So, what do we think? Now, usually whenever a game cues the end credits, I like to talk about the game, talk about kind of like a review, just kind of off the cuff. None of these scripted nonsense that everyone else, is, else does on their YouTube reviews and whatnot. No. We're going to start out talk about Mario Kart 8. Things that we liked, things that uh, can be improved, and everything like that. So, for starters, if you don't have this game on Nintendo Wii U, it's an, uh, it's an absolutely perfect opportunity to get, right? If you have the game on Nintendo Wii U, I would definitely say also pick it up too if you have the extra 60 bucks laying around. The game's fun. And of course, it's on Nintendo Switch. You have no idea how many times I've busted out my Nintendo Switch on the train or uh, at C2E2 I was at, uh, a, a local Chicago Comic Entertainment Expo, C2E2. We were there uh, just last weekend. And I was on the train and Jess and I, we grabbed the Joy-Con, we just ripped the Joy-Con out and we were just playing on the train. It was so much fun. And then when we were at the convention, there was a whole gaming area. I had it, I'm like, hey, any of you guys wanna play Mario Kart? They had a Switch dock, they had an LCD TV, probably like a 40 inch or something, no, maybe like a 30 inch. And we just docked up, we synced all our controllers, and we were playing four player split screen, local. It was amazing. 
it was straight up really cool. So the fact that you can bring it places and it's mobile is more than enough reason for you guys to get this game. 60 bucks. It's, it's totally good. Now let's talk about the differences. I mean, the differences, they're very small. I would say one of the most game deciding differences would be the fixing of fire hopping. Fire hopping is gone. As as much, it's like a bittersweet thing to me. I love fire hopping. I, fire hopping really is what separated the men from the boys. And if you were able to do that, you were like pro in Mario Kart 8. Fire hopping, psh, 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 boost, and then just, just hop. It was great. Now with that, it's like, it's gone now. So now the playing field is kind of even. It's knowing your lines, knowing your coin management, and then knowing where to boost and how to stretch out your boosts accordingly. So I'm very curious how as how this metagame is going to kind of move forward, considering the fact that time trials, there's no way that we're going to match the time trials of previous of the previous iteration. There's no way. Like the previous iteration, it's all fire hopping, and you will straight up doom, doom, doom the whole entire time, and you'll get like 10 seconds faster than any world record in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So do I, do I like that? I guess I do. It makes the playing field a lot even, but I really liked being more advanced than a lot more people who didn't fire up. Because in Mario Kart 8 Wii U, people, if you chose a kart and you knew how to fire up, you were above, you were better than people who chose bikes. Even if you're inside drifting. You can inside drift bike all you want, a pro fire hopper will beat you nine times out of ten, provided luck and item management. Uh, but as far as lines, you'll you'll absolutely win if you fire hop. But now it's different, so I can totally see uh, that this game is going to definitely come on through and bring a comeback to those inside drifting bikes, and they might prove that they're better than carts this time around if you know how to use them. So, other than that, uh, the Ultra Mini Turbo, I love it. I love it. I love the addition of it. Thank you so much for adding that. What would I like to see in the future? DLC, man. Give me some more tracks. Give me some more alternate costumes. Give me some more characters. Where's Diddy Kong at? Is Birdo even in this game? I don't even care about Birdo, but Diddy Kong, bro. Done. So let me know what you guys thought of the game in the comments below, and we'll talk about it. We'll talk about your honest review of it. We'll just give it a chat. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Boom, boom, boom. We officially have uh, 2143 coins. Distance driven, 816 kilometers. And of course, the next time that we play an episode will absolutely be Grand Prix. It'll be mirror mode. So everything is going to be mirror image courses. And then we're gonna jump over to 200 CC and get all of that over there in order to unlock Gold Mario. It'll be Gold Mario hype. I can't wait for it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode already and uh, you enjoyed my thoughts of the game, definitely let me know in the comments. And you guys can indeed hit that like button. So we're going to continue on with even more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with your help and support. Watch the playlist over here. Next up, like we talked about, is going to be Mirror Mode and then 200cc. Newest video on the channel there, recommendations there, and boom, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the latest and greatest Mario Kart 8 content on YouTube and even more Nintendo Switch content. So we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.